you may or may not have noticed that it's been a few days since I posted and there's good reason for this. So what I'm doing today is taking a 000, zero banana farm, right? And getting as much damage and as far as possible as I can get with essentially just that. Like yesterday I made this custom map. Basically they just like come in and go back and forth like I don't even know how many times like 50 or something i don't know it's crazy we got the cool buildings for the scenery we got the lake for the energizer let me just go in sandbox really quick and show you what we've been doing so essentially we would get a banana farm right here right also i have giant towers on it just looks cool it's like they're all like godzilla in this little city you might be wondering how can a banana farm get millions of damage huh how well it's very simple if we have geraldo at a certain level we get this thing called jerry's fire or jerry's hot sauce and it throws it on there right it comes in and it gets hit by jerry's fire and every bit of damage that comes from this goes to the banana farm the weirdest thing is that it doesn't actually show you how much damage it does at the top left like on top of the banana farm you know but once you actually lose a game it'll show you just how much it does it's just weird because it does it in bananas. Let's say the banana farm itself produced 4,000 bananas, but at the end it said we had 108,000 bananas. That means it did 104,000 damage. <laughs> the problem, my friends, is called regrow balloons. We had a bunch of grow blockers all over the place, but it was like the worst lag I've ever seen in my entire life. One round, round 79, about an hour and a half before I just gave up. We do not want that to happen again, so we're gonna like prioritize farming early and getting down like when we need one we'll get like a ring of fire or something so it can take care of those but just a little warning the banana farm's not going to get a hundred percent of the damage but it's going to get the majority okay that's all that matters sorry one more thing before we start i'm just letting you guys know double cash is off and we're not using any mods besides these like typical ones just being able to retry when we lose we don't have to use money faster forward pretty self-explanatory round changer i don't think i'm gonna have to use this but i might only for round 79 because that's the real real problem round no crazy towers no extra damage no nothing all right let's get started so first things first we're gonna want to get down geraldo all the way in the corner and how are we gonna deal with damage at the start you may ask we're just gonna get a turret right at the end so we can build up some money alongside a glue gunner right here set on strong it's free don't worry so right now we have enough for our farm last time since we have the big ones on i like put it all the way up here because it looks more aesthetically pleasing not covering the map but the range is still the same as if it was small so we have to put it like on top of the track okay nothing's getting past this guy last time i only had one regular farm down to get money so we need more if any if i learned anything from last time we need more same with an alchemist take care of the first lead balloons ladies and gentlemen the time has come we throw jerry's fire on top we sell this and now we're good to go so the good thing is if we were to get like a village right next to it everything that comes from the village is added to jerry's fire like if we were to get an mib or jungle drums or whatever i'm pretty sure it just all like transfers over i'm gonna sell the glue gunner and move him over a little bit closer just so when we do get our village we can actually have this thing hit camo balloons and we are going to upgrade this thing to relentless glue alongside glue splatter once we have enough money that way it can slow everything down but it's not going to deal any damage which is exactly what we are looking for first moab incoming like i said this track is like 50 times back and forth so it's really not going to be a problem maybe moving the glue gunner over wasn't the best idea it doesn't really matter okay we're just going to get our village right here here are some regrows are we able to take care of them though um i don't know just to be safe we are going to get attack shooter oh god this is not good we need to sell a couple of farms it is such a problem i don't think you guys really understand Ugh, okay and what we're going to do is cover every single spot with grow blockers so we need a village right here oh wait we're out of jerry's fire get another one. Oh god one right there with extra range we go one like right here with extra range one right here with extra range even though this one already has a grow blocker we're ensuring every spot is covered alongside one at the very end i don't think you guys understand how bad it was i'd never lagged that hard in my entire life and it wasn't even close to anything else i've ever seen before it was all round 79 and it sucked asshole it was horrible i had like a cleansing foam engineer and a couple of other things to try to prevent that and it just wasn't doing it, it was, i don't know why it was just way too laggy but problem solved i think now we need to just keep on focusing on our farms because we should be good in like terms of damage up until round 79 and then we're gonna make sure before that round even starts to get like an inferno ring or something because yeah i'm not dealing with that again i'm sorry to keep talking about it it's just it was horrible it's like it's giving me ptsd
Oh wait, we're out of Jerry's Fire again. Can we get this? And also we can get a camo potion. It does give you some extra range. Like we already can see camo obviously, but extra range is nice. Now that I think about it, I don't know if this one actually gives you extra range. I think it might need to be like the maxed out version. I don't know. Someone let me know that. You guys are smarter than me. Okay, cool. Just like that, we now have all of our farms to central market. And I think that should be plenty. Now we need to work on getting an absolute zero ice monkey alongside some ninjas for their slowing abilities. I said it. I said it. So so the absolute zero is going to be all the way up in the corner. Last time it was able to hit the track, which was kind of annoying. So we need to make sure that doesn't happen again. Oh yeah, I forgot about the action figure. 35,000, 36,000 now. We can sell that and get the absolute zero. Perfect. We can also go like this. We get down, I'm going to say either three or four. Um, We'll just do three for now. We get all of these to balloon sabotage. Because if you don't know how that works, basically you click it, it, slows everything down. Same with the absolute zero. It does deal some damage, like it breaks in layer, but it's okay. It's going to help us in the long run, slow everything down. I really don't know if a call to arms or like a homeland defense actually does anything to Jerry's fire. I don't know. I'm not going to prioritize my money in that right now. We'll get that later, but yeah, for now, I'm not going to be focusing on that. What I am going to be focusing on is getting a submarine down here and we can get this guy to an energizer because if you didn't know, it make reduces ability cooldowns. We already have enough for that. That's crazy. I was thinking about doing this on a regular map, but I was like, no, I want to see just how far I can get like on a custom map. I was also thinking about doing it on chimps, but for one, you cannot have banana farms on chimps and i just thought that would be too hard i'm assuming we'll be able to take care of the b80 and we'll just go into free play well, we're already in free play but we'll just see how far we can possibly get another thing that kind of sucks is the fact that we don't have tech bots i would love to put a tech bot on this and all of these guys but that's not a possibility so we're gonna have to do all the abilities manually as of right now i don't really have any worries i'm just gonna speed it up i'm gonna see if i'm able to get like a monkey wall street i would do like a true sun god buff but we obviously can't do that or it's going to hit the track. We now have enough for the monkey wall street. We can do that. And then I'm going to go ahead and buy one final farm. This one is going to be the top path because this one collects for the nearby farms. We'll get that right here and we're going to do a magic button for this guy. Are you ready? Shabam. We're only going to do the tier four. I feel like saving up for the tier five is really not going to be that great. Not going to make too much of a difference. We already have a good amount of farms and we can sell them if we need to. Also, very nicely, I can tell that the grow blockers are working. They're actually doing their job this time. I don't know why it wasn't working last time, but look at that. All these red little outlines, it's actually doing its job and it's the most beautiful thing I have ever seen. Let me test this out. So if I were to get the homeland defense, is it going to increase the attack speed? Let's see. Yes. Oh, it actually works. Sweet. Okay, I was worried about that, but now we're good. That means an ultra boost should work on this guy. So I think that's the next thing we're going to work towards. We'll get the ultra boost. I don't know. I don't want it to hit the track. So maybe like right next to Geraldo down here. Yeah. I think it's about time we can clean up the map a little bit, get rid of all the farms. And we have a lot of money to spend now. So we can get the ultra boost finally and... Is that all I need? I don't even know. Let's start ultra boosting this guy just like that. It looks like it does work. Okay, round 79, the one I was worried about. Um, Just to be safe, I'm gonna get attack shooter right here and we can upgrade it if we need to. The regrows are coming in, activate an ultra boost. And I just don't wanna lag my game out again, but I think we're looking fine with all these villages down. I don't know. Yeah, it's not really doing much. We're getting it, Inferno Ring, I'm sorry. That's the only time. Okay, we're done with that now. Oh my God, I cannot believe it. That's the round that took over an hour and a half yesterday and I just gave up on and we beat it. I don't think you guys understand how happy that makes me, but it is now round 80. We got the ZUMG coming in. We're at a six times ultra boost, almost all the way there. We can freeze this guy, activate the uh, homeland, another ultra boost. And I don't think it's gonna be a problem. It's not gonna be a problem. I don't even think it's not going to. It's not going to. Slow him down with the ninja stuff. Another freeze, more slow, more ultra boost, <laughs> more homeland. And ZOMG is down, sweet. This is my new record, by the way. I've never gotten this far. So we do this. Now we're at a 10 times ultra boost. Don't have to worry about that anymore. I think at this point, there's nothing else I can really add that's gonna help us out. At least I don't think so. So it's just a matter of time of waiting. So I'm gonna speed this up until we get to around, I don't know, 100 B80.
So one more thing that I forgot to mention is the fact that this map could be a little better. When I was making it, I was like, yeah, this is perfect, you know? Then I realized that I could have done it like completely diagonal all the way across the entire thing. But either way, it's still an amazing map. It's not 100% perfect, but it's pretty perfect to me. Also looking at round 95, it's a little bit scary because of all the DDTs, but once again, they have to go back and forth like 50 times. I don't know if, I don't know if that's the exact amount, but something like that. So I think we're gonna be okay. I think as long as we are able to beat the BAD, then I'll consider this challenge completed. But we'll still try to get as far as we possibly can, you know? Oh boy, that was a lot of clicking, a lot of abilities used, but it is now time. Round 100, the BAD coming in. Oh, Homeland, Ultra Boost. You can't actually slow it down, so I guess we can't use the freeze or the uh, slowing until it actually breaks the outer layer. Homeland, Ultra Boost again. Honestly, I'm starting to get a little nervous. Like, it's been around, I think, four times now, four or five times, and there's like no damage let's get down another village this one needs to be a call to arms because i can't only rely on the homeland defense because it runs out we do have a band-aid now so any minute it's gonna break and then we can start freezing and slowing it down again oh boy i'm just worried that one of these times it's not gonna loop back around it's just gonna hit the wall and go out and we're gonna lose just break, come on, it's getting so close. I know any second now it's gonna break and I don't know how much longer we have before it just leaves. Come on, please. <gasps> wait, 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 there we go, there we go. Oh, okay, it finally broke, god damn, that took forever. That means we can start slowing it down and freezing and we're gonna be able to take it down, which I am very happy about. This has been a long time coming, but it is now going down. Yes, we beat round 100. And now at this point, we see just how far we can get. I don't think it's going to be much further. Like next time a BAD comes, we're probably going to lose. But who cares? We beat 100. Oh my god, you see that ceramic about to leak out? All right, our time has come, I think. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're leaking out. This is going to be the final round. Well, that's pretty impressive though. Round 104 with just a 000 banana farm. I can't complain about that. That's solid. So if you look at the bottom, it says 2,511,848, right? Keep that in mind. The banana farm produced 6,180. So we just subtract that. So that means in total, our 000 banana farm did 2,505,668 damage. Two and a half million. That's honestly insane. Anyways, that's going to be it. Thanks for watching. Adios.